Hey everyone, I wanted to do an update video just to give you guys a clue of what I have for the X-Men as of now. I know there were some packages that I had gotten and didn't do a video for. I guess I just opened them or I didn't like the way they were shot so I got rid of them. So uh, this is just an update of my top 20 X-Men collection as of right now. And, uh, oh well, as of the updated YouTube channel, uh, I have a bunch of videos banked so... Um, I'll get to that later. Anyway, so first up is X-Men number 16. X-Men number 14 is the first appearance of the Sentinels, and I believe X-Men 15 is the first appearance of Master Mold. Um, but we got Master Mold on the cover, which is super cool. Uh, the book condition, you can see right here on the spine, the... The staple looks a little rusted, and uh, it's a little beat up. It's been a, a loved issue, I should say that. A um, little damage on the corner and everything like that, but uh, overall, I'm happy with it. X-Men number 13. This is the second appearance of Juggernaut. And I believe I had said, I actually, I don't know if I had mentioned this one. I don't, I, I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time. I've been editing the videos all at once, so I have a hard time remembering what has been on the video and what hasn't. So uh, if this was on the video, I think I got it for around $16. It's kind of crazy for the second appearance of Juggernaut. So I guess everyone was just sleeping on this issue at the time. So I was able to pick it up for dirt cheap. Um, I'm curious as to what it's going for now. And I'm sure I'll put a little pop-up video right there uh, saying what it's going for. And then we have the very first appearance of Juggernaut, X-Men number 12. Uh, in the previous video, I said I got this for around $200. At the time, it was going for $400. So to get it half off is a steal. And the, the condition is... It's fine. Like, I, I don't care. <laughs> if you guys have been watching these videos, I don't... As long as it's not written on, I'm pretty happy with just having the book. So down here is a little rough. Um, there's like a line crease where it looks like it was folded or something. But like to feel it, it feels smooth. I don't know if these were pressed or something. Um, or if just over time being compressed with other books next to it just kind of smoothed out. X-Men number 11... It's the first appearance of Stranger. Eunice. Eunice Valanchunas. That's a basketball player. Uh, X-Men number eight. First appearance of Eunice. I don't know when the last time this guy was around. I don't know what's going on with his costume there. That doesn't look like a very interesting costume. It's just like a purple phantom suit with kind of like red trunks over it. X-Men number five. This is the second appearance of the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. And the third, I want to say third appearance of Magneto. That's right. Um, yeah, I got this one. I got this one on a steal as well. Um, if I remember correctly, it was like 90 bucks. And I think it was going for double. have the first appearance of Blob, X-Men number three. This one's a bit beat up. Um, looks like maybe some water damage or something right here. Um, browning pages, it's all kind of chewed up right here. I don't know. Maybe just stored in box. Yeah, that, that definitely looks like water damage. Um, that's whatever. It's fine. And the spines, spines beat up. All these books were are attached though. The covers are attached, so that's that's another thing I'm pretty happy about. And I remember getting this. This when I got this X Men number two it was like such a huge deal. I remember consulting with some friends like, "Hey, what do you think if I spent this much on a comic book?" Uh, and I was, like, "It's X Men number two, so everyone was pretty supportive of it. Since I'm a huge comic book fan, so. Um, like I said in previous videos, 
I use the money I, I get off of selling my old pop collection uh, to pay for these books. So um, it was all breaking even. Just had to keep get, uh, plugging away at that collection. All right, and then so those are my unslabbed books. And we're gonna switch over to a few of the slabbed ones that I've shown so far. So this is X-Men number 19. First appearance of Mimic. It's a 4.5 CGC graded. When we have the first, or uh, introducing Kazar, Lord of the Jungle, first appearance. This one is CGC certified, but also signed by Stan the Man Lee. I love this. This is awesome. I love this this header that they have here for the signature series. Um, signature is right here on Kazar's arm. Four point five. And then this is. X-Men number nine. This is CBCS. Uh, so like I said in a previous video, I feel like these are, these are a bit more cloudy um, than the CGC. Let me... So you can, you can tell even on the video, like how cloudy this is compared to this. Like they're just using higher quality plastic and that's why CGC is king. Um, and then this is a 2.0. Um, I dabbled with the idea of getting this CGC certified instead, but uh, it just costs too much money to do that. Um, so I just like that it's protected. And then the last one up is Blob, or the return of Blob, X-Men number seven. Signed by Stan Lee. And this is a 2.5. Um, we got the signature right here. And uh, yeah, these are getting harder and harder to come by, these Stan Lee signed issues. So all right, thank you for checking this out. Just wanted to give you, give you guys the update on how many I've received out of the top 20 so far. So we do a quick count, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, that's twelve of the top twenty. Oh, almost forgot the heavy hitter. Giant size X-Men number one, 1 1.5, signed by Stanley. I have it in the shadow box. I like to, it's right under my TV. I look at it all the time, just watching TV, and I'll glance down and take a look at this bad boy. And then it is signed right there, uh, right on the X-Men logo. Great piece to have. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Oh yeah, like, subscribe, all those things. Um, check out the links in my description. I draw comic books and I have an art studio here in San Diego. My studio, they make their own comic books as well. So check that out, pick some books up. If you're X-Men fans, you'll like my book, The Second Shift. It's very uh, uh, X-Men adjacent, I wanna say. Just growing up an X-Men fan, that's one of my influences amongst others. Um, so if you like X-Men, Gen 13, Wildcats, you'll like this book. Um, Invincible, you'll probably like this book. And I have Wanderers of Melisanda, which is a, a sci-fi fantasy. It's kind of like a space fantasy book. So it's kind of cool. Uh, has dinosaurs and all that good stuff in it. So uh, give those a look, click on the links, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.